I know. I've just about heard it all. 2025, I hit Alaska. Nice. I will say all those new colors look way better in person than they do on TV. They put the tank on upside down. <laughs> Cheers. Sean, this one's for you, buddy. Oh. Max, do you have to be drinking water so loud? Max. It's either corruption or um, incompetency of the, the highest level. And it's down your head, it'll make sense. Yeah. Now that is cool. I might have to own that. Been saying I'm going to keep it, but. Yeah, honey, I'm the bogey biker And you know I'm here to stay Howdy folks, welcome back. We spent the morning at uh, Sean's mother's memorial service. It was a beautiful service. And Rich and Michelle and I decided to head over to the Horny Toad Harley Davidson for their spring bike event. Oh, these are all people's bikes. Way better in person. Stand on your what head. It, yeah. Stand on your head. It'll make sense. Yeah. They put the tank on upside down. <laughs> well, the, well, the last time we were here, they had a, a street glide marked as a road glide or vice versa. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Harley quality yeah. control is. Uh, the other side the same way or? No, it's right that side way. up. That is hilarious. Assuming that's not somebody's bike. Yeah. No, that's a new one. Oh, you ready? You see how tiny yeah. papers? Yeah. Hey, what's up with Harley quality control? Do you know what anything about that? Is there anything wrong with that tank right there? <laughs> <laughs> they put the tank on upside down. Now that yeah. you mentioned it. <laughs> no, Is it no. on the other side too? No, it's right. That's the emblem. Yeah. How the hell did that happen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, last time we were down here, y'all had that. The street glide. The street glide, the road glide, glide. yeah. <laughs> you been anywhere lately? Not yet. Um, my yeah. trip's in May. So Aren't you going to Alaska or something? 2025, yes. So this year is is all of these states. Oh, that's not the one. So this year is all of these states. You're doing that this year? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit all of the West Coast. Yeah. I'm gonna hit these four, and then I'll be at 49. 2025, I hit Alaska. Nice. That new vintage series. The hydroglide. That's actually pretty sharp. Kind of interesting. It almost has an Indian look to it. Yeah. I will say all those new colors look way better in person than they do on TV. That white looks really good. Uh, 
but it's different in person. And that's the widest bike I've ever seen. But man, it looks good. They're still re remodeling Horny Toad. So tell me y'all's favorite new color. I would probably go with the Whiskey Fire from what I've seen, but I gotta say that shark skin looks better in person also. They did a good job of the colors for sure. Now that is cool. I might have to own that. Y'all know anything about scorpion helmets? I think that's what it is. I may have to ask them about that. Well, I tried that helmet on. If it was modular, I'd buy it. I don't know that a, a full face helmet for all the YouTube stuff would be good because I can't talk into the camera. So I'm gonna do some research, but man, I like that a lot. When you're a Texan anyway. Me and Rich got bored waiting on Michelle. <laughs> Cheers. Sean, this one's for you, buddy. Oh, oh you did it. <laughs> Just wish Lone Star tasted good. <laughs> you may recognize this. And I want to thank Jay and Lloyd Mays for asking for some stickers. I sent it to them and they put it on their bikes and sent me some photos. And here those are. So that's pretty cool. Flying the bogey back of colors. I promise this won't turn into a snake themed channel, but. And you can look up the different stuff. Not much. How you doing, sir? Learn all about it. Do you watch Snake Discovery? Yeah. Love Snake Discovery. She's super awesome. She's so much fun. Very cool. All right. What's your favorite today? Nope. Trash can. Okay, that's gonna be the last snakes you'll see on this channel. Hopefully. Unlike most YouTubers, I'm leaving on the same bike that I came on. No 2024 for me. I'm good for now. Is that the same color as Sean's? I think it's pretty close. Yeah. I think it's really close to the same scheme, everything. Yeah, that's good. I got that dropping the damn camera. Yeah, I was trying to take it off and hold it. One. 
in my beautiful life. There's Pablo over there. Pablito. How are you doing? All right, we made it back. That was a fun little day. I wanted to show y'all. Again, I'm trying to make this LaPera Daddy Long Leg seat work on my road glide, and here's what it looks like without the tour pack. Max. Max, do you have to be drinking water so loud? Max. Do you have to be drinking water so loud? Uh, I'll be right back. Seven minutes later. I've been drinking a lot of water lately. So, I took the seat off of the Road King because my buddy John wants to buy the Road King. So, I've been saying I'm going to keep it, but I made him a good deal for him, and it's a good deal for me to free up some cash so so i want to make this seat work i think it looks good i can use it with the tour pack without the tour pack without moving bars the only issue is i had to lower the bars a little bit more than i would like see where my tour pack lights hook up that pisses me off it's rubbed the hole in the paint I guess I can get some touch-up paint or something, but that really pisses me off, so. But yeah, I think the seat's gonna work. Uh, I'm not the most patient person, so I understand there's a break-in period with these seats, and I haven't given given it the proper break-in time, so it's a, I think it's gonna be a great seat. I wish I had a little taller bars, but I've been over that, said that a million times, so I don't need to rehash that, but. So maybe at some point I'll get taller bars or the T-bars on this bike, which was what I would really like to do. I just don't know if I want to spend the money or not. So anyway, that's where we are with Smokey. I've had a few of you uh, ask about my rainwater collection system. So I don't know if this interests all of you, but I was going to explain a little bit. So we built this shop. And we lived in a camper right back there before we built the house. And I put in that 30,000 gallon, it's actually 29,000 gallon rainwater collection tank. Because out here, and I think a lot of rural water systems are, are like this, unfortunately. You know, you just can't get a water meter. I say a lot, probably not a lot, but out here it's, a, it's an issue. And it's really an issue because I mean, people get on these water boards and I, mean, I think even their charter says to serve the community, but they really get on there to maybe get a water meter themselves or um, more of like population control, unfortunately. I mean, there's people with six, eight, ten meters themselves, but that are on the board that, but <laughs> people that buy land, you know, they come up with every excuse in the world. It's It's either... It's either corruption or um, incompetency of the, the highest level. And anyway, we were forced to figure it out. So, power to the people! <laughs> the choices were drill a well, and it's about 1,100 feet to drinking water here. So it's going to cost about. 80 grand at the time now it's i'm sure it's double that just like everything else because all this all this free stuff ain't cheap or do rainwater collection and it's not all that common here but it's very common in other places you go out where i go to terlingua everybody's collecting the rainwater and living off it and they get eight inches of rain a year we get 36 inches of rain a year we get just about the same amount of rain as like seattle gets but we get ours mostly in the fall and the spring and none in the summer so the tank usually fills up in the fall and the spring and then we last and have had no issues with water the lowest my tank has gotten is about 8,000 gallons and we use it normally we don't take quick showers we don't do anything other than i don't just leave the water running all the time but uh, we live off of it we live off of it perfectly fine 
I have a UV filtration system and then I also have filters in the house. But yeah, so that roof is 2,800 square feet. And it has two gutters, one on the front and one on the back. And it's PVC, glued PVC. Goes down in the ground there. And that 2,800 square foot roof, I get about 2,000 gallons of water for every inch of rain that we get. So the amount of water these water companies say you use, I just don't believe because we've lived off um you know a, a couple years ago it didn't rain for like 10 months and it was full when it stopped raining and we had 8,000 gallons left when it started raining again and we live normally so the amount of water these water companies are saying you're using uh i don't i don't buy it yeah it comes down off the shop under the ground and then pardon my i'm not finished i rebuilt the the uh pump house so i've still got a finish that and paint it and everything but the water comes to the bottom of this tank and then the head pressure pushes it up into the tank and then I have a, the pump and the filter in there that push it back up into the house you can see the level so if that's 29,000 gallons we probably got 28,000 gallons in there and if it stopped raining right now and didn't rain again till January, maybe even a full year, we would live perfectly fine without doing anything different. So you tell me. And I don't even have my house hooked up. Because being the genius that I am, when I was building the house, I had a gutter guy talk me into not using the glued PVC. He said, just use the black roll pipe. It's cheaper and easier to work with. So I did that for the house. Well, the black roll pipe does not seal, it snaps together. And so the head pressure finds the path of least resistance. Here, I'll show you. So that black roll pipe, the water goes down to the bottom of the tank. And then rather than pushing up into the tank, The path of least resistance is to come back out right there because that's lower than the top of the tank. On my shop, where the water's coming from is higher than where the water's going, which is head pressure, my understanding. So we test the water and it's literally just as pure as it can be. When I open the hatch on that tank, it's raining inside of there. So I don't know if condensation is creating more water or just recirculating the water that is in there. But yeah, it has been, if I had, you know, I could put another tank there and I think it looks good. I put it in front of the house, but it looks, you know, almost like a grain silo or something. I don't know, it looks, looks good out in the country. But I could put another one there and I can assure you I'd never ever even worry about water. I've given water to neighbors who are on this lovely system that we have out here that, cause it goes down about once a month and the water quality's terrible and the pressure's terrible. But anyway, it has been uh, a huge blessing for us. When we bought the property, they told us it was gonna be six months, maybe a year before we were able to get a water meter. And that was about four years ago. and. Uh, we've I've just about heard it all so it's one of those things you just figured out and overcome and now I would not hesitate to buy property anywhere and build because this rainwater it works and um, it's been great for us and we've been and we've been able to live normally and the water is great. My wife said it's like taking a shower with Evian water. So anyway, uh, I don't know if you find that interesting or not, but uh, I've had several people ask about it. And so I thought I'd give you a little tutorial. I will say that the new colors of the Harley 2024 models is probably the most impressive in person. 
I've seen all the models on TV and I do like the new body style and the screen's growing on me and it all looks good. Those have looked good on, on camera. I would say like the shark skin and the white, you know, on camera they looked okay, but it didn't look any, like anything too impressive, but in person, they really look good. But I'm staying with Smokey. I mean, hell, I just got it, it's a 2021 and I really like the way it looks with no tour pack. Until I can convince my wife to ride with me, I don't guess I need the tour pack, especially in the summer when you don't have clothes, you gotta jackets pack away and all that stuff, so. And like I said on the last video, I'm going to Sturgis. We're gonna be there August 1st through the 5th. We have a house in somewhere in Spearfish, something like that. So, man, I hope to see some of you guys there. As always, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, honey, I'm the bogey biker, and you know I'm here to stay.